Now to the worldwide computer craze sweeping through Perth. Minecraft is an online Lego computer game that not only has kids hooked, but mums and dads as well. It's a game where the player's in control. Your fun and success only limited by your own imagination. Cassie Silver has more on the magic of Minecraft. Gaming is always changing and always growing. A lot of these people just game and that's all they do, game and eat. There are no rules, there's nothing, there's no real end. It's the latest computer craze that has kids and mums and dads obsessed. It does suck you in, you do end up spending several hours in the game. For the Lyco family, it's online Lego for all the gaming generations. When it sucks you in, yeah, there's, there's days <laughs> when, I've been, when I've been sucked in for hours at a I think, time. I think I'm the Minecraft widow sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I just look at the three of them and I go, oh well. <laughs> From little Elise and Sam to the biggest kid of all. Especially on school holidays, if I, if I have a day off when yeah. I'm looking after them. Yeah. We'll set up the computers and the kids are just pigs in mud. They just love it because yeah. Dad's in there. Even a day dedicated to keyboard chaos. <laughs> Minecraft Monday is always a good one because it, yeah. it rhymes. Uh, first day of the school holidays, Minecraft Monday, they don't have to go to school. And it's just a nice way to escape reality for a, for a small portion of time and, and um, either go exploring or go and build something. A game like Minecraft comes along and defines a new, almost a new genre and, and then we go from there. 94.5's Dan the Internet says the game has gone gangbusters. People get into it because it's, it's an escape from reality um, and they can control their own destiny, you know, by what they do. It's called Minecraft, an online building site that lets you create your own world out of virtual Lego blocks. I think there's an element of reality to it, which sounds strange because you're playing a game, but it's a fantasy, you know, people want to immerse themselves in the game, so if you feel like you're actually doing saving the world from aliens. Created by Swedish programmer Marcus Persson, Minecraft has sold over 20 million copies worldwide. There's people from every nation in the world pretty much on, online and you get to meet these people in virtual rooms and you set a game up and start playing. An adventure. It's a world where you can get lost in. Um, you don't have any boundaries at all. Gamer Ross Elliott says it's taking players back to basics. It's not about the 3D shoot 'em ups and uh, the high level graphics and intensity anymore. It, 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 we can go back to that retro uh, gaming. The magic of Minecraft is that there's no leaderboard or scores, no winners or losers. So Ross, what would be the longest time you've played Minecraft for without a break? Uh, I'd probably say around 20 hours. Um, I've, I did it for charity actually, uh, to raise money, but I've played Minecraft for a very long time, just basically glued to the screen the whole time. You can create art in Minecraft, you can create movies, you can do anything you want. That's exactly what Ross has done, a Minecraft movie series. Looks like those fools already activated and went through. Let's go. I think you need that break from reality to just go fight a dragon or, you know, drive a monster truck. I mean, you may never ever get to do that and that'll probably be the closest thing you get. From movies to merchandise. <laughs> They get so excited and they're just so passionate about it. They love what they create too and they get so excited and they want to show you and you look at it and you think, I couldn't have done that. It's just amazing. Whether it's building bridges or crafting your own creations, the only limitation is your imagination. You can lose yourself in a world that you yourself may not be able to ever reach. Cassie Silver there. Stay with us.